What's going on, guys? It is Corey and Christian from Super Kami Guru 9000, and welcome to another grand edition of our versus battles. Today, it is our very first East versus West battle. We get to see the Caped Crusader himself, Batman, fight against Kakashi of the Sharingan. Batman himself has a very dark beginning, having seen his parents gunned down right in front of him. Later on, he takes on the symbol of the Bat and becomes the Batman, saving Gotham from all of its evil doers. And with his cool gadgets and his help from his butler Alfred, he saves Gotham City time after time. The village hidden in the leaves, Konoha, has some of the most powerful ninja in the entire Naruto universe, and Kakashi is no exception. Son of the White Fang of Konoha, Kakashi is most famous for being able to copy over a thousand different techniques. However, he has a very bloody past where his best friends Obito and Rin are apparently dead, and this has left him in a state of extreme depression. However, he has used this as a fuel source in order to become more powerful and to remember to protect his comrades first and finish the mission second. Batman has a wide range of abilities, and if it's not his super intelligence or super strength, it's his utility belt, which has batarangs, explosive batarangs, remote controlled batarangs, and also batarangs that are just completely sharp and could just take your head off in no time. And when Batman's not using his utility belt, he also has a wide range of knowledge when it comes to martial arts, where he's mastered almost all styles and is proficient in all of them. Batman is also a master of all forms of martial arts and can take on up to 20 dudes at one time and still kick all of their asses without getting hit once. He's also a master ninja himself, being able to hide in the darkness and sneak up on enemies whenever a frontal attack isn't necessary. The darkness truly is Batman's greatest ally. If that weren't enough, we also have the Batmobile, the Batwing, the Bat Submarine, the Bat Cave, and Shark Repellent. Batman may only be human, but he has taken on some of the strongest villains in the DC Universe, which include the Joker, Superman, Darkseid, and the immortal Ra's al Ghul. So watch out. Dun -na 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 Batman! Kakashi truly is the ultimate ninja from the Konoha village. Not only is he the most recent candidate for Hokage, but he's one of the most legendary to come from that village, mostly due to his Sharingan which he obtained from his good friend Obito. And this Sharingan eye has a ton of abilities. Other than the fact that it can pretty much copy any single jutsu in the entire series, it has a few things that are exclusive to it as well. First and foremost is the Kamui ability. With this, Kakashi can literally transport anything to an entirely separate dimension and pretty much obliterate anybody. That means if he looks at your head, he can pretty much blow it off completely. But his master element is of course the lightning element and he's using this with his Raikiri ability. Originally the Chidori which he taught to his apprentice Sasuke, he made the Raikiri his which is an even more powerful version of this where he channels lightning right into his hand and can use this to blow right through an opponent. Or he can actually manipulate the chakra and turn it into an actual living entity such as a lightning wolf. Kakashi is not only a master at ninjutsu, but he's also mastered the other abilities of the Konoha ninja as well, such as genjutsu, taijutsu, and kinjutsu. But he also happens to be incredibly intelligent and quite a tactician as well, even more so than Shikamaru, who's also known as one of the smarter characters in the series. Kakashi himself is truly a force to be reckoned with, and it makes sense why he'd be the best candidate for Hokage. Kakashi is no slouch in the fighting department. He's gone toe-to-toe -to -toe with Zabuza of the Demon Mist. Pain, leader of the Akatsuki, and even currently is going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Toby himself. He truly is the ultimate ninja. Okay, now that we have all of our opponents laid out, let's see who will win. Well, I'll tell you what, my two cents is that I actually think Kakashi comes out on top. Why? He's almost beyond superhuman fast. All of his ninjutsu techniques, which I think would end up in a fatal blow to Batman, and uh, you really can't beat the Chidori or the Raikiri, you know, piercing his body armor. I don't think there's any real contest there at the end of the day, but uh, Batman would not go down like a bitch. These are definitely two characters who work well in the darkness. They're very similar to each other in terms of personality and what they do. They're both incredibly smart and can read each other very well. It's really the situation in which this battle takes place and who's going to come out on top, but... Christian, I do agree with you. I do believe that ultimately Kakashi would be the one who would win this battle. However, there is, of course, situational causes we have to take into play. First and foremost, Batman himself, he is very strong, and if he were to get Kakashi into an area that was, you know, completely dark, he'd probably have a pretty good chance. But even still, Kakashi's got that Sharingan eye, he's a ninja, he can sense things at a level that's just unhuman-like, 
He, uh, you know, he can smell things just like Kiba Unazika. He can see things better. He's an expert fighter, and let's face it, over a thousand techniques. Even if the room is black, he's just going to shoot a giant fireball in there and light the place up. So, as much as I want Batman to win, and I do love Batman, ultimately, I think Kakashi is the one who's going to take it in this battle. And now, guys, comes the most fun part of the video, where we get to turn it over to you, the viewer. Who's going to win in this epic battle? Will it be Bruce Wayne Batman, or will it be Kakashi? You can let us know with your comments below, and please give us your best scenarios as to how these battles will play out. And remember to be respectful of your fellow commenters as well. Come on, guys. Don't be douches. And remember, guys, if you liked this video, make sure and give it a thumbs up. That concludes this East versus West versus battle. Super Kami Guru 9000. Out. Out.